Hello and welcome to this video on ID8 Annotate, our newest addition to our existing ID8 apps collections of Revit tools. In this video, we will review why ID8 Annotate for Revit is an important solution for AEC businesses that are using Revit for projects of any size and typology. ID8 Annotate is our 10th and newest addition to the ID8 apps collection of tools, which was released in June of 2022 for Revit versions 2020 through 2023. For our first release of ID8 Annotate, we have designed the software so that Revit users and those in charge of model quality assurance and quality control can verify the legibility of project tags, dimensions, and other annotative elements that are found on published sheets. As sending drawings out the door with crowded, overlapping, or empty tags could end up being a costly liability if they are not legible or if they are misinterpreted during plan review, bidding, or construction. Additionally, ID8 Annotate has a brilliant browse feature that gives users a clear picture of the 2D annotation elements that are in use in their projects, allowing for review of project compliance. The browser can be sorted by view or category, making navigation even more customizable. ID8 Annotate gives users the flexibility to browse through 2D annotative elements using a variety of display, sort by, and filter options. Use the search feature to narrow down your list and selection by your search term. You can change the display of the tree by entire project, placed views and sheets, active view, and current selection. Using the placed views and sheets display option is advised before printing your drawing sets, as it is important to review the types of views that are on the sheets and the categories, families, and the types that exist on those views, along with the quantity of annotations that exist for the placed views and sheets to ensure that project standards are adhered to. Double click on any annotation to go to the view for further review. If required, you can select the tag and swap it out for another tag as part of your review. Review the sheets for annotation types that are used, such as revision cloud tags, revision clouds, title blocks, and viewport types and names. You can change the sorting of your display tree to by category, which will sort your annotations by category, such as tags, elevation marks, lines, raster images, and so much more. The listed values next to each category represent the total number of annotative elements for the respective category, based on the display option, which in this case is for the place views and sheets. Additionally, you can filter by tags if you want to limit your results to just tags. Changing the display and sort will change the results of what is displayed in the browser tree. In addition to browsing and reviewing annotation usage in your projects, ID8 Annotate takes the review process to a whole nother level by giving users the ability to review their projects for annotation clashes. The days of printing check set drawings and reviewing every little detail for overlapping text and tags are now a thing of the past. Like the Browse tab, users can change their display, sort by, and filter to get their targeted results. While in the Active View under the Review tab, ID8 Annotate automatically goes into full analysis mode for the Active View and will display annotation issues such as annotation clashes, orphan tags, elevation marks with no elevations, blank tags, zero length dimensions, and other items that are not visible. Now that the analysis of the Active View is complete, we can begin addressing annotation clashes. For example, it is easy to see a clash between a text note and a dimension. This poses a potential liability as a critical layout dimension is obscured by the text. A fix and refresh shows that the clash has been addressed. For clashes that appear in the list but still appear to be visibly acceptable, users can select a group of clashes and right-click to dismiss the issue. This ensures that the clashes do not appear again when rerunning the analysis. Users can select the filter option to review all dismiss issues if they so choose. Finding blank tags is easy with ID8 Annotate. Simply expand the blank tag category and double-click the tag in question to review it in context. Simply delete the tag or input the appropriate data in the family to get the tag value to appear. It is not uncommon for users to discover that they have dimension strings that report zero length. This situation arises when dimensions are placed on elements that end up being aligned to themselves, which may happen in views that do not have dimension strings. With ID8 Annotate, it is easy to find those elements, even when they're hidden, so they can be properly addressed. Another common issue that users run into frequently with annotations are ones that are not visible. There are many reasons why this can happen, such as their host elements being turned off or hidden, they could fall outside an annotation crop, 
or even the elements that they are referencing could be outside the view range. In situations such as these, ID8 Annotate makes it easy to select those elements and then use the ID8 X-Ray tool to assist with determining why those annotations are not visible. For users wanting to adjust the clash sensitivity, ID8 Annotate offers a simple interface to do so, along with the option of clearing dismiss warnings, which will now reappear if they meet the criteria of the clash sensitivity. When switching the display mode to entire project or place views and sheets, ID8 Annotate defaults to a partial analysis mode, which skips analysis intensive processes such as annotation clashes and others not visible. Users have the option to toggle to full analysis mode, which will do a deeper dive of the entire project or place view options. After performing a full analysis of the entire project, we can see that there are many issues that still need to be addressed in this project before it can go out the door. There are two ways to access the latest release of ID8 software. From within any of the ID8 software products, you can find updates via the help menu as shown. You can also visit id8software.com forward slash download to retrieve any of the software updates and trial versions of our products. From the entire ID8 software team, thank you so much for reviewing this What's New video.